Welcome to the second segment of today's video where we will now spend some time with building the assumptions of the income statement. And now we will develop the assumption sheet but first adding a growth line for each of these line items. A growth percentage will tell us what was the annual change in the sales figure 2015 divided by 2014 minus 1. We'll drag it all across. Control I, Control Shift 5, and then increase one decimal point. And we'll add borders. We'll repeat the same for each of these line items. Now that we have added the growth percentage calculation for all the line items, we will be discussing how to forecast each of them. Sales will be discussed in our next video where we will create a dedicated sheet called the revenue model. Since cost of sales is directly related to sales, sales will be the driver as a percentage of sales equal to minus sign divided by sales. The minus sign is to have a positive percentage. And this section will have the hard-coded forecasted numbers colored in blue. The blue is to indicate that the cost of sales figure is being driven by this row. The formula here will be equal to sign, select the sales into minus the percentage. Drag it all the way to the end. Now we can check the formula. Let's assume 75% 2019 and sales 8 billion. There we go. Selling and marketing expenses, general and administrative expenses together can be combined as operating expenses. Operating expenses can be forecasted based on the growth rate and they can also be forecasted like cost of sales as a percentage of sales. So we can paste the formula and we will change the links accordingly where this will be related to revenues. And even the cost of sales forecast will be linked to revenues. And we are done. Depreciation, earnings and associates and interest expense will be forecasted in the balance sheet. Other income is also forecasted as a percentage of sales. Had it been finance income, we would have used the opening balance of cash and bank figure from the balance sheet to forecast it. The formula is the other income divided by sales, C25. The forecast region will have the hard-coded forecast drivers in blue. And other income will be forecasted as the 2019F sales figure into the percentage that we believe will be of other income. Improve the format, control shift five, one more decimal in italics. Income tax will be forecasted as, as a percentage of earnings before tax and minority interest will be forecasted as a percentage of net profit after tax. We will construct the formula for these two schedules after we quickly built in the format of the income statement. We have now completed the assumption section and in our next segment we will move on to discuss and build the format of the income statement.